Hi everybody, uh, today we're going to look at Portland's crime maps, uh, some of the safer neighborhoods and some of the more dangerous neighborhoods, and basically look uh, basically all around Portland um, to understand what's going on. Um, so there is some city data um, available. Um, here's kind of the downtown portion. Um, this is uh, the Wilmette River. Um, if you're not familiar with Portland, um, it's just south of Seattle and just north of San Francisco and kind of a half good halfway point um, between uh, San Francisco and Seattle, a little bit more closer to Seattle, obviously. Um, but the river is basically, so it's west side crime and east side crime. So uh, most of the crime um, is in downtown, um, but it actually changes because um, as you get out to the suburbs, uh, more of it is actually on the east side um, because there's just more Portland um, located on the east side there. Um, if you zoom in, you can kind of just get some details um, for specific neighborhoods. Um, you can see this is the main downtown area. There's kind of a separate location here, here, and here, and then there's even some locations over on the east side on the other side of the river. Um, so what I did is I went through and I mapped everything out. Um, here's the downtown area. Here's kind of the north side near the marina. You can see a couple spots in there, um, as well as just on one side of this um, island here. Uh, and then further out um, on the north northern most point. Um, and then here's kind of going out towards uh, the east side. You can see um, it definitely cleans up, but there's just a lot more space out there. So the crime is still, there's still a lot of significant amounts of crime out that way. Um, but it's just uh, dispersed more. Um, so, uh, but still, uh, the downtown area is pretty much the most. Now, this is just south of downtown, so the downtown area is just north here. You can see a couple neighborhoods, a little island here, um, and some other areas. But uh, basically, uh, if you're looking overall, you can kind of see a couple streets uh, as you head outside of downtown uh, have some bad areas. Uh, you can see particularly on this. Um, on this side here, there's kind of a, even a similarly uh, area of crime. So, and then heading north uh, off of I-5 and the other regions, um, you can see some areas even further out uh, that have some struggles. Um, here's kind of a heat map uh, looking at some different areas. Um, each one of these sources shows something slightly different on the data. Um, here's the main city's website. Uh, it's not super helpful, um, but uh, hopefully maybe they'll change us to a heat map in the future, not just by uh, neighborhood. Um, it's a little bit better uh, to have the heat map. So public transportation is also a major uh, problem in Portland. It's not super great, um, but they do have something called the MAX. Um, there um, and then it basically heads out to the airport as well as downtown um, you can see and it's basically mainly on the east side actually so the, the there's actually not a whole lot this heads out to Hillsboro some other spots um, now as you head in from Seattle you're basically gonna be taking this bridge uh, and then this marina looks pretty safe down in here um, so if you look at this spot here um, you can see the south side kind of open up as pretty good. Um, maybe even the north side here, we could kind of say, um, I guess I could say out in this district here, I'll just save that really quick uh, to say that. So there's basically a couple of spots out in the east side too here, but uh, as you look in here, you're gonna have to pass through some of those neighborhoods uh, really close uh, to downtown potentially. So you may see some problems um, right there. If you're coming up from San Francisco on I-5, this is actually north is, um, this is, uh, let me draw this incorrectly so you can see. So that's north and that's south here. Um, so that will explain it a little bit better. Um, but you basically have to travel through a little bit better area here. I-5 basically crosses here and then heads on up north to Seattle. And, but uh, in terms of parking safety, so uh, Seattle publishes the actual crime data for cars um, and thefts due to, on cars, but this is basically the downtown area is all paid to park uh, in these regions. Uh, and then there's even uh, permit parking even outside of that main downtown area. Uh, so not only do you need to pay to park, but you also have to have permits as well. So. If you combine all that, uh, you'll kind of start to see where it's safer, um, basically on the south side. Even on the north side, there's a couple of key spots. Um, as you noticed, um, if you look at this map here, uh, it kind of heads out here. There's a little crime spots there. So I circled those uh, along those roads there and there, and then maybe on the middle side, 
um, you might find a little bit more safety um, I'm not super sure to, about this Lloyd area but it looks like it's pretty good uh, overall so uh, but this is a pretty helpful map right here so uh, but what I would do is I'm gonna publish all these links on the video here so you'll be able to see everything uh, and kind of pan around on the maps yourself so there's basically three main maps we looked at. This is the main crime reports in Portland map um, that I found most helpful. This is actually a national map uh, that you can get uh, for everywhere across the nation, which can be pretty helpful. Uh, but you can see, particularly for Portland, you can zoom in on that. And then also the parking map uh, was helpful. You can do uh, area parking permits uh, is also helpful. So you can click on this and then we'll load up in a moment here. Sorry about this. Um, and this shows the zones uh, where you have to have a parking permit. Um, so the downtown uh, on street parking, uh, these are the little circles that you see here are actually the payment facilities that you have to pay where you can actually pay. So, but basically those are the regions that you have to pay to park. So, uh, and in addition to that, there's also uh, zone parking. So you have to be careful, uh, but definitely take a look at these crime maps. Um, you can zoom this. One thing I found when I first found this map is it doesn't load. Uh, if you zoom out past this, it will just show the neighborhood. So you have to zoom in carefully and you have to even wait a little bit because there's so much data. So it might not show up first. Um, and then you can pan to the north um, and you can see uh, some of this northern area. You can see a little pocket here, a little pocket there of crime. Um, and then on the south, uh, you can kind of load that up as well. Uh, on this map, but it does take a little bit of time to load um, just because there's so much data and then I definitely recommend uh, Looking out east you can see along this road here uh, Out to Roseway and Rose City Park and so on um, But it does take a long time to load so you may <clears throat> need to wait for a little bit uh, You can see this kind of road uh, mingling off here uh, Would be interesting to look at as well, but you can see some crime spots uh, right here on Grand Park, uh, Sullivan Gulch, um, and some other areas. Lloyd looks like it's not super great as well, but maybe Irvingston is a little bit safer. Um, so you want to kind of be careful um, on either side. Uh, but definitely downtown uh, is really particularly bad in Portland. Uh, so you want to be careful, particularly along this street here uh, in this downtown corridor. And then even this part here connecting to this bridge. So this bridge might be a pretty problematic bridge here. Um, as well as some of these other ones. That's why when I did these drawings, <clears throat> um, I kind of connected it through the streets. Here you'll see this particular bridge and this particular bridge. I kind of zoned out as particularly important um, for looking on the crime side uh, of the map. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the study. Let me know if you got any questions. I'll be publishing all these maps um, and the links uh, on the YouTube video. Just click on it and you'll see all the links. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the study. Ciao.